Are you tired of being codependent? Have you ever wondered why you're always cheating? Huh? Why do you have to always mother everyone you date? I understand. The biggest problem usually is people choose the wrong person. Are you ready to find out the truth? Uh, yes. In just one video, you'll understand what you're looking for in love and what you offer. You send us your date of birth, we send you a custom video that's all about you. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the love and lust report. Find out your birthday secrets today, available online at secretsofbirthdays.com. Gemini and welcome to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host to reality, Christopher Witecki. And we are blazing through 2012. Space and time seem to become a blur. In fact, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and we're announcing a little extra special help from SoulGarden.me. Secrets of Birthdays, a love and lust report. Two for one is what we're doing. I don't know if you know about this. This is a video report. We take your date of birth, we edit a video based on who you are, and then we send it out. And right now, if you buy one for yourself, We'll throw in a love interest for free. So uh, that's cool. And I say love interest, meaning all you need is their date of birth. You don't have to actually be in a relationship with them. You can find out. This answers a lot of those questions. Anyways, come to secretsofbirthdays.com for that. Also, we're launching the Guardian Agency this week. If you signed up, you should be receiving with texts, just for the record. This is an agency where I take your date of birth and I serve as a more personal astrologer to you. And I do it through text messaging because it's quick, it's right there, and it's right when you need it. So it's kind of cool. You can sign up at GA text.me. It's 99 cents for the first week. Come check it out. And I don't know if you know this, but we have a whole community for people just like you called soulgarden.me. That's right. We are, we consider to be remarkable souls trying to live our brightest. And if you identify with that vibration, come on into our little Facebook for lightworkers. It's soulgarden.me and you can go to forward slash Gemini and find your little Gemini twins. We even have a Gemini writer that's always chatted up. We have lots of Geminis actually. Many, many Geminis. If you want to come trade facts, come on down. So that's an invitation to join the mothership. Now, where are we with Geminis? It is a cloudy month for our ambassadors of the Zodiac. This month is really about your belief consciousness and your belief state of awareness uh, is an important one. Obviously, what you believe is important, but why is what you believe important? Because belief structures become the autopilot of making reality. You can forget that you believe something and reality will still manifest according to what you forgot you believed. And there is a mining and a clearing. There's also education, which is expansion of beliefs. The more you learn and experience, the more you can be a maestro of reality. So this is the annual transit where you are kind of farming the belief structure. Now in the last 10 days, it was about getting rid of or stepping away from beliefs that have failed you. Maybe beliefs in childhood, a belief you adopted from your parents, it could be an education has failed you, following a certain guru has failed you, following a religion has failed you, or maybe you just have failed yourself. You don't believe in yourself, which is a, uh, is a belief structure problem, not always self-esteem. Uh, sometimes people have self-esteem issues, it's belief structure. No, you, you know you're worth something, you just don't believe in yourself. That's different. So as we move in here on Monday, it's chapter two of Sun and Aquarius, and it's time for Gemini's just to stand in what you do believe. Stand in what you do know. Walk your talk for what you do know. And step away from what you definitely know is not true. Okay? This might be playing out in education plans, plans for a trip, anything that's going to expand your mind, this may be playing out here in this transit. But the moon has got you very much on the subconscious. The moon down in Taurus is in the subconscious of Gemini. So emotions are stirred subconsciously for the first three days of this week. And part of this is faith building. Jupiter in this energy is saying, it is time for Gemini's to clear out the weeds, face the boogeyman, connect to your higher sense of self, and have that connection as a spiritual backbone, a faith builder that you know because you spent enough time with yourself to know. So depending on how much time you spend with yourself will be stirred right now. So Monday you are definitely stirred by Jupiter. Also notice to have faith, you've got to what? 
you've got to change your boundaries. Geminis are going to have to be comfortable with the fact that they don't always have tangible evidence, that there always isn't, there isn't always an answer. Sometimes they have to have faith without an answer, without appeasing the mind and sorts of other things. So stepping away from old comfort zones in order to gain new faith. On Tuesday, if you did have or were rattled on Monday, Tuesday things will kind of level out. The moon is off of Jupiter. Uh, Virgo is the ruling consciousness on the planet, so it's a healing day. And if there's a belief structure issue, you might find an answer or heal or find the information you're looking for on Tuesday. Also notice this trine between Neptune and Saturn in Libra. Now Saturn's come to 29 degrees Libra, which means the universe has shown Gemini's everything they need to know to have true love in your life. There's nothing else you need to know. Now you might need to execute, change, all sorts of stuff, but you know what it takes to have true love in your life, says Saturn 29. Neptune in Aquarius says you also know what you actually believe. The fact that you even question your beliefs has to do with mind games and belief structure issues, but Neptune tells you exactly what you believe. You're in crystal clear with Neptune. So putting this together, you know what your heart wants, you know what you believe, so <laughs> you put in the missing piece, but I think that's kind of what it's talking about that trine. Now moving on to Wednesday, a different opposition. The moon's still in Taurus, so it's still another spiritual day for the twins of the zodiac, uh, but the sun kind of makes things more interesting. It's a learning day, great day to pick a new book, great day to open yourself up to new information. Feed those dual processors with new information, just some new information to kind of, you know, get things moving around in that consciousness. But check out this opposition between Mars and Venus. They come to a head. Now Mars for a long time has been pushing on Geminis to build the home, to build the nest that will lay the golden egg. A lot of energy into building foundation work, much more than Geminis usually like to do. Okay, But that Mars has retrograded, which says, okay, stop building your house. And with Venus and Pisces, it's saying, receive from career. So it's time to just sit back and receive. The hard part is receiving. It's a boundary issue, being open to any possibility, sitting still while you're waiting for something to come in the door. That's the hard part of it. So there's this real shifting of the gears with this Mars-Venus opposition. And for us, it means shifting of the gears and how we play ourselves in the moment. Now here's where GA is of service. For those of you who are watched over personally by me in the Guardian Agency, I'm sending two personal texts on Wednesday to help you get past this hurdle. One is uh, your placement of ego. What does it take for your date of birth, someone born with your date of birth, to surrender their ego? That'll help you with trying to not to push so hard at home. Then I'll look at what does it take for you to receive. And I think that's the hard part for Geminis. I think Geminis do not actually receive very often. So this will be a helpful with text as well. Again, based on your date of birth, and that goes outside of other Geminis. So this is how you're different from the other Geminis, and that's with GA. Now, moving on to Thursday. Uh, after all that, we've got some storms. Um, it might be not so hard on you. The moon actually shifts into Gemini. So finally, your ego is online. You're feeling strong. I think the rest of the world is having more storms. I think you're actually more of soul service on Thursday. And for you, it might be breakthrough understanding about something, but nothing that actually causes tremors in your life. Um, again, with the universe teaching you faith, now, I don't think the universe can turn around and slap you right away. <laughs> It'd be cruel of God. But anyways, uh, I think you are actually going to be helping others. With the moon in your sign, you're sharp, you're crisp, you're sunny and cool. Friday, moon still in your sign, still sunny and cool. Check this out, a soul pyramid, which is a grand trine. What does it come from? The moon in your sign. So this goes back to what I was saying earlier. You know what your heart wants. You know what you believe. What's in the way? Probably your ego. The moon in Gemini, something will shift. Your ego will understand how maybe your ego is in the way of you receiving or your ego is in the way of you living in a heart space all the time. And looking for that ego revelation will be the key, I think, of Friday. Also on Friday, how's this for a segue? We've got a new show going live called SG Live. This is a show where we're going to do live uh, webcam radio whatever that is. And we're streaming live. There's live chat. This is for us coming together. This is going to be interviewing lightworkers. It is all internet based. So webcams and uh, but good quality sound and video uh, and a way to get to meet each other. We all think alike and we need a place to hang out. So we're going to do it on Friday. That goes at 11 a.m. on the Pacific and over at 2 p.m. on the East Coast. Come log in. It's free. It's SoulGarden forward slash live. Look forward to meeting you in person. Then moving into the weekend. Pretty good. From the Gemini's I do 
say uh, Mercury rules the day. Then we move into Venus. Uh, Saturday, the moon is in Cancer. So emotions are on, self-esteem, soul capital. I think it'll be an industrious weekend for you. I think you're going to want to emote, inv uh, invest in your value. I also want to point out that Jupiter does go to three degrees over the weekend, and that means that the faith building continues. So even though the emotion heaviness of it left when the moon left Taurus, and you got strong with the moon in Gemini, the faith building continues. Keep working on that inner faith. And um, I should create a class for this because uh, this is a tough thing. But it really means meditating and paying attention to yourself. Paying close attention. All right, Gemini, that's all I got for your weekly forecast. If you're watched over by GA, you'll probably hear from me pretty soon. If not, I'll see you in seven days. Until then, live, love, be. Love.